le steward. Le Hello everyone, I'm back with the second video of the week. It's the first time for this channel, but I'm sure it won't be the last. I have jajangmyeon with a little bit of kimchi and pickled radish. That's the white stuff right there. I'm going to go ahead, use my fancy little chopsticks, open these bad boys up. Got some nice water right here. Set that aside. And if you if you guys have this before, you guys know you have to um, mix it up. But I kind of let it sit here for a little bit while I was <laughs> preparing my computer software to record stuff, and it got kind of hard. So <laughs> this is going to be kind of difficult. Actually, I'm going to. Pour a little bit of this water to loosen the noodles up. <gasps> Got on my table. That's good enough. Please work with me, noodles. For the sake of this video. Oh god. <laughs> so, I guess since this is going to take a while, um, I was trying to think of things like to talk about in my videos, other than like really, really super random things. I'm sure I, I'm still going to like go off on tangents while I talk about other things, but um, I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about myself today, um, one of my hobbies that I have. And, um, so yeah, I, I got into powerlifting or weightlifting in general about two years ago. And I was first inspired by watching, like, YouTube videos and, like, seeing people, uh, online. And those ended up kind of being role models or, like, goals for me. And I really just wanted to challenge myself and see like how I can where I could end up if I like you know stick to something for a while so I started doing that two years ago and like everyone starts off like really casually and they don't really know too much so I just kind of dove into it um, signed up for a membership at a local gym and uh, ooh. and once I did that I just started watching videos on YouTube. I'm sure most people did this, like watch videos and then, you know, just try to copy like what people do. Um, you know, and after a while, I'd say maybe about like six months, I had enough knowledge to the point where I could kind of like do my own thing, make my own workouts. Cause at that point, after working out for like six or seven months or so, you know, you accumulate the amount of different exercises that you, that you've, like, emulated from other people. And so I had a lot of different um, exercises that I could do, you know, after, after six months. And at that point, well, for the first year, I'd say, um, I just kind of. I didn't really have a goal other than like being more fit and like losing some fat because at that point I think well, I'm 22 now so I was probably like 19 or 20 and I believe at that time I weighed about 180 ish and after a year I think I went down to about uh, like 159, 160. Um, but it wasn't just like losing 20 pounds. It was also, you know, building some muscle, but not like, like a super, a lot amount. Yeah, it's finally mixed. 
It's about to go forever. <laughs> so yeah, I did that. And then once I got to like... Once I started looking into programs and things, um, I got more interested in powerlifting. So my cousin actually was the one that introduced me to it or kind of pushed it onto me. And so I started doing that with him for about uh, six months, I think. And so I did that for six months, um, and like I had a ton of fun doing that because, you know, you, uh, unlike bodybuilding where it's just like seeing physical progress like on your body, um, you can track like how strong you get, like obviously by how much more weight you can do compared to like a month ago or two months ago, things like that. So in that way, it was, it was a lot more rewarding, personally. <laughs> when you eat this, usually like a bunch of sauce gets on your lips. So I'm making sure that I don't look like a slob on my video. And so, uh, once I started powerlifting, I was on uh, a strict program where it was uh, six weeks long each cycle. And basically, we wouldn't uh, take any breaks and we just did cycle after cycle. So that was four. Well, I think I, think I did more than six months. So it was about like four or five cycles I'd say and by that time I was just like so worn out of it and it became it wasn't like super boring but it you know I was in that routine of doing the same thing every six weeks that my interest decreased a little um, and that's kind of my fault for doing the same program over and over again I could have like switched over to a different one but um it was just working out and I kept on progressing over the six months so that's why I stuck with it but eventually after however amount of time that was the last uh, one rep max is that I I tried I got my bench was 225, um, my deadlift was 445, it might have been 435, uh, somewhere around there, and then my squat was um, 335, but um, the last time I tried those was um, maybe like three or four months ago, so you know, you'd think that I would have gotten stronger, like, since then, but actually after those uh, four or five cycles, I just kind of stopped going to the gym, kind of all together. And now I'm here, being fat and, like, <laughs> making these food videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but... I didn't go to the gym on a daily basis like how I used to or on a on a program so usually like four or five days a week 
and so um just my my desire and my motivation was completely completely down the drain at that point and this was about three or four months ago but yeah ever since then I I go uh, I'd say maybe like two or three times a week but I don't have any powerlifting goals or really any goals in general but uh, at this point in my life I feel like like I've had enough time away from you know have like setting goals and things in the gym that I'm ready to like get back into it and also just health wise I felt way better when I was consistent and made an effort to like be healthy and things and like eat right and I definitely want to feel that way again it's not like I feel like super crappy right now it's not like I'm like super fat <laughs> but you know being being a little leaner and making better choices in food and like what I drink especially like there's definitely a difference there God, that was really sweet. Uh. Shout out to my two subscribers out there. Hopefully you're watching this. <laughs> actually made this for me one in my family too so I'm sure you guys will see this maybe in a future video sometime Yesterday I was on my iPhone and I was browsing the app store just to like see new games or like applications online and um, my phone was being like super weird 
I went to like look at this app store uh, app page and um, almost dropped that <laughs> and uh, I clicked on the like purchase button on the right side I, I use the iPhone and um, usually you have to press that twice and then either put in your iTunes password or like use the touch ID to like confirm the purchase but I only pressed it one time and then it showed the install like symbol where it was like spinning around and I was like what the hell like I didn't want to buy it I just accidentally pressed the button and uh, like it was a pack of four applications or four games and they all started installing and I was like oh shit <laughs> but uh Usually after you buy stuff online like that, they send you a, a confirmation email or like purchase confirmation sort of thing, like basically right after you buy it. But I didn't get one, so hopefully I didn't get charged. I'm almost done. God save my soul. In my last video, it was really bright and you couldn't really see the food down here. And right in front, right in back of my monitor in front of me, is like a huge window and I didn't have a blind on that's why it was like super bright and so <laughs> uh, instead of buying a blind I just put like um, the foil wrap <laughs> on my windows and it looks like super funny because it's just like metal in my room and it looks like a spaceship Oh yeah, and speaking of my last video, I was really sick a few days ago when I made that. So that's why I didn't really have a big appetite, but I don't really have a big appetite today either, so I guess I can't really say anything. I think I'm done you guys the rest of that stuff is just like sauce and little like pieces of onion I don't want to eat that I'll eat the little piece of meat but yeah I kind of want to know what you guys think of my videos like how I can improve it uh, more important like things I can talk about um, Maybe like things, well I just said things I can improve on. But yeah, things like that. So please comment and if you haven't, subscribe please.